So here we are Thursday evening. <clears throat> I think it's the 11th or 12th today. I don't actually remember. I'll go look it up later. Not terribly important. I have done, um, I think the last of the, the coats. Basically, I only concentrated on the corners. Um, the other day I went back to where I'm renting and I looked, excuse me, at the landlady's uh, upper corners. And um, I thought, oh, okay, well, great, because I've achieved at least that standard um, just this, this very evening. And then I came back when it was all dry and discovered that my corners were just awful. Um, but I finally figured out the problem. Um, so you can just, oh, it's probably, so um, from what I understand on residential, you're supposed to install your drywall sheets horizontally. So you've got this great big divot. So you fill that up with mud. Great. But up there, I had forgotten that there's a great big divot. So the last time I did this, I was very careful to push really hard on this side and just fill that whole thing up. So that alone um, was a huge leap forward in terms of quality. Now, it's not yet perfect, but um, it's good enough. My, my landlady gave me an extra month to uh, get out and I'm gonna have to honor that very kind gesture by making sure that I can get out. So I will take it as it is. Um, uh, this continues to be awful, but again, um, I, there's not a whole lot I can do about that, let's be honest. It's going to take um, somebody like me who really doesn't know what he's doing. It's going to take me a while to figure out how to properly uh, cover that over. Maybe just one last really thick coat and then a huge fill over here to, to blend it in. I don't know. Not terrible important. I'm, I'm moving on without it. I sponged the... I mean, sponge sanded all of the corners, all of the corners, blah, 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 and here, and etc., and all of the joints. Um, I swept the walls, then I went around with um, the six inch knife, actually the same one that I've been using for a lot of the money, and scraped up all of the goop that I have dropped on the floor. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's now um, almost 8.30, well it's past 8.30 now, but uh, I normally have to knock off around nine o'clock because the uh, my neighbor goes to bed early, so I think I, I should clean. There's just a little bit of um, that needs cleaning, cleaning up, and then tomorrow after work, I think I will start the grout, and that way it can dry Friday night, and then um, on s well I'll read the instructions on Saturday. If I can't do at least a primer coat in here of paint, then I've got lots of um, drywall that I can put up. I'm especially looking forward to getting this area drywall because then I can put a plastic sheet over the doorway and the um, air conditioner which is uh, rated for one large room might actually be able to keep up with the um, the upper floor. Right now the, the upper floor is not as uh, um, sauna like as it was when <clears throat> the weather finally warmed up. The first couple of days were just awful. Um, but it is still fairly warm uh, and I, you know, I still am dripping sweat everywhere as I work up here because, um, uh, again, the, the AC just can't keep up with all of the hot air from the entire house coming, racing up these stairs. So that will be um, nice to get done, but it's not actually stopping me. So, again, <clears throat> hopefully grout. Um, oh, I did notice a couple of flaws. Uh, apparently, I don't actually know what I'm doing with tiles. So this tile here... Um, right where my toe is pointing, there's a three-way crack. So one goes there, one goes here, and one I think is coming out this way. The nature of the tile is such that uh, it's almost invisible. I could grout those lines and it would look like it was supposed to be there, right? Because that's kind of, you know, there are cracks in the, in the pattern. And, oh, oh man, oh, I don't know how I didn't notice that until now, but those two are the same. Anyway, whatever. This tile here in the corner, I notice is it's moving a little bit, um, which concerns me. But like this one here, A, who cares? Even if you see it, you'll assume it's supposed to be like that. And B, it's behind the toilet. So nobody will ever be looking there unless they're slightly insane. Um, over here, depending on where I put the door to the shower, that could be a big deal. Um, so that might be where, um, you know, towels and supplies go and then there'll always be a, a cupboard over top of it and then it's not 
visible. So yeah, that's it. Pull up the tabs, um, do some grout. You'll notice that I still don't have the um, uh, stuff around the sides. I forget what you call that, the um, baseboard. It would be baseboard if it was wood, but anyway, this is um, trim. Yeah, I don't have the, the tile for trim put up yet. Um, yeah, I, I can't say I'm too worried about it. Again, I, I have to be fair to um, everybody involved and just get this thing uh, move inable rapidly. Yeah, okay, so that's it. Um, once the bathroom's done, then I can start <coughs> mudding and taping. Um, you know, e each night if I had leftover mud on the hawk, I would do screw holes. I, I didn't do any of the joints because those need tape. Um, so I didn't want to, um, what's the word, contaminate those uh, joints with um, mud unless there was tape. So this will be, I guess, priority number three. Because number two, as I say, I want to get that wall blocked off. Um, yeah, and I think, <clears throat> I don't know, it might, it might make sense to just finish off all of the drywall on the second floor because then I can just mud, spend an entire day throwing mud and tape and, and all that business. Um, I suspect that I'll be a lot faster now that I've, I've uh, spent so much time making mistakes in the bathroom. But of course, only time will tell. Yeah, not much to do there, but then the closet still has to be finished and that's the old windows. The, the contractors um, broke them down but left them inside, I guess, so the neighbors don't complain. So, <clears throat> garbage run this weekend. And this, of course, is my uh, tool bench these days. Anyway, hope you're having a great day, week, whatever. Love you. Bye for now.